look at that ball, Justin. My goodness, that is a, a neon marker. Who are you telling? You should see it in person. Um, Price let's get bad. right into it, man. Let's, let's talk about the core. Let's talk about uh, cover. What's the difference here? Is there anything new? Let them know, man. So there is something new. So it's the Flux Core. So it's the one that we've been using. Um, it has the Frixion Mark V Solid MCP cover stock with the new Duramax additive in the cover stock as well. So what that Duramax does is basically it's gonna resist lane shine longer. The numbers on it are 2.57 and 0.015. If I'm not mistaken, I, I heard him say, I could be wrong on this, but I'm gonna put it out there anyway, that they're not gonna make a traditional urethane bone ball no more. Motive anyway, right? There's so many rules and restrictions coming down the pipeline from the PBA standpoint that they're trying not to get mixed up in all that. They're also changing the durometer numbers. Um, there's a whole, everybody's doing segments on that on YouTube. You guys can go look it up and research and whatnot, but it, that's jumping significantly. Like J.R. Raymond was saying that the new ones are basically going to go straight and what your thing should be versus the softer stuff where they're hooking a ton of this and that, and whatever. Are they changing that? for just yeah. urethane or are they going global? No, I think it's just the urethane and it's jumping significantly by like six points. I could be wrong on that six, but I'm, I'm pretty, I know I'm pretty close, which is weird because they're like they're trying to get it out of people's hands and I get it. But like at the same time for everybody that whines, moans and complains, you guys can throw urethane as well. You're choosing not to. This is my personal take on it. Please don't attack me. I don't need all that. I personally don't use your thing because I don't hook a lot. You have the option of using it as well. Let's get away from that now. I'm good. In the video, you guys are watching. I warmed up with a Black Venom Shot 240, guys, especially after not bowling for a month. Again, can't say enough about that ball. Yeah, ball's beast. Um, so I didn't throw like the best of shots. I missed and the ball went Brooklyn. So I left like the one, two, four, seven. Dude, this ball hooks. It almost reminded me of the ambush bit the ground and just was on fire. So then I threw it again. I threw it good. I missed the headpin again, and I was to the right of it. Um, for the first six frames, I did not hit the headpin. After that, I, I started to go face, which was a, a, a good sign. I think I need to put at least nine more games on this ball for it to calm down. Yeah, it's at a thousand grip. Uh, a thousand, yep. For the first time ever, I'm going to say this. I'm going to bring this ball up to two or three thousand. Mr. No Hand Lefty, I'm going to bring it up instead of down. So right out of the box, it was too strong to to be proud. Oh my God! I wish I had it like five thousand, and maybe I would have hit the headpin on the left hand side. What did you bowl on the regular house shot, forty two feet? The regular house shot, and I but I did drill it strong. I went forty five by three and a half by five, I believe. Again, I, again, and, and I put the stronger pin position because I was like, okay, well maybe it's just going to smooth out. No, not the case at all. <laughs> the Dude. ball flies, man. So for people watching, where do you think this ball is going to fit in? Like, who do you think this ball will be better for? So that's kind of a hard question right now because it's of what always I'm a hard seeing. question. Well, this one in particular, because of what I'm seeing out of the ball, like how long am I going to have before this ball breaks and it settles down or I can just take it, throw it up five and it'll be okay. The high rev rate guys, I think we'll be able to use this a lot when it calms down if they really wanted to control the pattern and get their angles in front of them. The balance guys, I think will do okay with it because of how easily this cover stock is adjustable. I think that this is gonna be one of the more friendly uses across the board, you know what I mean? To where everybody can use this ball if they wanna just control and stay right and or left, fellow lefties out there. Broad spectrum of this ball, I think is going to suit a lot of people if they choose to go this route. It is, only going to be in line for like six to eight months, I believe. So get them now. I could be wrong there. So you might want to get them, especially if you're a tank fan. When's this sucker come out? What, what do you got for a release date? July 12th. Yeah. So we're recording yeah, this right. on the 7th. This ball hits uh, Motive VIP Pro Shops and all Pro Shops around the land on uh, yeah. July 12th. So get on that. And for the guys who do get this ball, get a really good ball cleaner. This ball gets dirty fast. That's funny you like, bring that up because that was something in the back of my mind that I wanted to talk about before we ended. Any time you see these bright, solid balls, these things like they they get so dirty, man. They get so Dude, dirty. It's, so and on top of like the the texture of the ball, I don't know if it's Duramax additive. I don't know if it's just because it's a solid. I've never felt the ball 
like this before in my life. Like a weird glue surface. I don't even know how to explain this, but I felt and I was like, what the heck? This feels weird. That's probably what that additive is. That's probably what it might that, be. Yeah. It, I mean, it's pretty cool that they that you can take such an additive and resist lane shine and keep the ball longer. Just so you guys know, again, if you made it this far, the next ball might be a minute. I did injure my wrist golfing out of all sports, mm -hmm. so I don't know if I'll be able to throw a ball for a month or two or whatever. He actually got into a fist fight with an older lady on the course. Um, <laughs> it's it's um, fist. Yeah, it's a, it's a long story. We'll we'll explain it in another video, but yeah, like Justin won, obviously. I mean, he, but you know, she was tough. Though. She took she took a couple yeah, right? a couple shots. I'm still laughing, so it's good. <laughs> nice. Hey, everyone! Thanks for watching. Thanks for joining us. We really appreciate it. Hit all the buttons, the like, the subs, share with everyone on the planet Earth, and uh, and comment. Why is nobody Why is nobody commenting no more on the on the channel? There's like. And you'll oh, are just it, like, it's summertime, man. Yeah, our, our our views are way down too. Yeah, it, it, it always okay. happens during the summer because not not because everyone's kind of like doing other things or not like paying attention. Um, the views usually like spike up like come August ish, but from like May, June, oh, well, July, that's, that's all when views, Lee is. Yep, all all views dip like around springtime into early summer. Oh, okay. Leave some comments. We'll see you guys next. Time.